Hi guys, Craig Vi here for Spurred on TV, standing in for Slats. And I'm here with Dan and Daryl, and we've just seen Spurs draw one with Liverpool at home. So I'll come to you first then, Dan. So give me your overall assessment of the, of the match, how you think it went from a Spurs point of view. Uh, I thought we did very well to nick a point, actually, to be fair, in the end. I thought for long periods of that game, Liverpool looked slicker and sharper, quicker to the ball. There was sort of half an hour there in the first half where they really did look very, very good. You know, and we looked a little bit jaded, I thought. I thought Harry looks tired, seems a bit burnt out, you know, struggled to get into the game a little bit today. But um, they all looked a little like that today. I just think Harry, I think just briefly on him, I think it may well be burnout. You know, he's played an awful lot of football over the last two years, you know, including for the England under-21s last summer. Somebody said to me a few weeks ago, you know, he's play, played over 30 games more than Vardy in the last two years. You know, it's a lot of football for a kid that's broken into the team only 18 months ago, really, you know. And I think now maybe it's just it's just that burnout that happens to all young players from time to time. You know, hopefully, I'm sure he will get through it. But at the moment, I think we're just seeing the effects of that, you know. I mean, they were talking about that during the Euros. So, I mean, is, is it bad that we're still thinking that way now? I mean, he's, he's gone away. He's had a holiday, quite a long holiday as well. He's come back. And, and you, you still, is that why we took him off then? Is that why he made that change towards the end? Possibly, yeah. Maybe just to sort of mix it up, you know, 10 minutes left, you know. Give him a little rest at the end there and bring on Amar on, who I thought was very decent for the 10 minutes he came on. A few little sparks there, maybe. And I think Potch has done well with Onomar to just sort of bring him along gradually, which he's done. Um, and what about Kane playing in this new position behind Janssen when Janssen comes on then? I mean, is that the most effective use of Harry Kane? Uh, I'm not sure yet. Too early to say. Possibly not. I think he, he really is best up top on his own, really, you know? I'm not saying that the two of them can't and won't play together, because I'm sure they could, you know, at some point. I just think it needs to be the right game in the right context, you know? I do think Janssen is a very promising play. He doesn't seem to be quite getting the rub of the green at the moment, you know? But works very, very hard, and I'm sure if he keeps on the work great that he's producing in his first few games, I'm sure he will get goals for us, you know? It just needs to drop right for him, really. Yeah, I think so, too. I mean, he, he does work really, really hard. I think he's making things happen in and around the box, but just not sharp enough there at the moment. Daryl, do you, do you tend to agree with that? Yeah, I think the big man said it really, you know, and I think um, uh, the, the previous uh, speaker, I think, also pointed out that we had a much more pressing game and we were getting results last year with that and Liverpool looked a little bit like that on us uh, today. So, but having said that, it's early days. We're probably in a better position now than we were last season at this point so, yeah. and we then started to push on. So the sharpness is going to come, I'm sure. You know, there's some real positives when Yama looked cool on the ball, controlled, you know, um, Danny Rose always gives 110% and I think he deserved that uh, reward. Lamella, you know, someone needs, he's, he's great. He's, his work rate's great. He wins a lot of ball back, but you could almost see what was going to happen. You know, I, I think he's just been brought up that way. You know, somebody goes past, you pull him back, you have your hands all over him. Someone's got to slap him and get that out of him because he's going to cost us points. Yes. But other than that, I think there's a lot to be positive about. You know, we, we've got to balance the year out. We've got Champions League coming. Um, I'd like to see some signings, though, before the, the, the close of the window. You know? Someone with pace. Yeah, really. Some with pace. I think, you know, you, you were talking about Harry Kane. It just didn't look like we had th the, the threat that we've got used to up front um, from last year. It just didn't seem to be that threat. And, no, you know, no surprise, the goal came from elsewhere. Uh, quick word about the penalty decision then. Well, in your eyes, was it a penalty? Yeah, Stonewall, you know, you could see what he's doing. We were, we were right, right on top of it and he shouldn't have touched him. He should have let... You know, he's lost the, the guy, he should have left, le left it to others to try and tidy up. Um, but he can't help himself, that lad. Mm. Yeah. Okay, and a quick word about the positives then. I, I want to speak briefly about Mitchell Vaughan. I, think, I thought he was outstanding today, particularly in the first half. Look, penalties, you know, it's a 50-50 for a keeper really, isn't it? Um, he, you know, he went completely the wrong way, sent the wrong way by James Milner. But he kept us in the game, did he not? He did, absolutely. First 20 minutes, you know, the one after about five minutes in was a really good save. Although, to be fair, I don't think he should have been given much of a chance. What he was a poor finish, which was lucky for us that it ended up like that. Um, but yeah, he's, he's a decent keeper. Um, needs possibly to work on his kicking a little bit from time to time, you know, if I'm being ultra critical. But no, I thought he did well today, you know, and uh, yeah, played very well. Can I just say one thing briefly about Christian Eriksen, who I thought had a poor game today. Um, to me, today he played like a player who basically doesn't want to play for the club anymore, I think. Uh, there's been rumour about that, and often say there's no smoke without fire. I, by the way, I'd like to be wrong about that. But I just get the feeling that his heart's not quite in it. He seemed very distracted throughout the game, misplacing passes, not putting his body on the line like you'd want to see. Um, I've just got a feeling that maybe his, his head's elsewhere, and, and if that is the case, um, obviously that's, that's a problem going forward, you know, and then... I think a few players look jaded out there today and you don't really want to be seeing that at the start of the season. I didn't think Lamella looked at it. Uh, I mean, will the real Deli Ali please stand up? Yeah, That's yeah. another thing. And um, uh, do you, I mean, did you feel the same way about Christian Eriksen? And, and if, if the rumours are believed to be true, I mean, it, would you be sorry to see him go? 
Yeah, I don't think he actually contributed much. I, you know, I'm, I'm a big fan of Christian Eriksen in terms of what he's done for the club. We didn't we didn't get any free kicks around the box, so he didn't have that part to show, other than the Lamella one, of course, which was on target. But yeah, you know, it's very frustrating to see, you know, a, a fairly even game with everybody battling and then somebody wimping out of tackles is just not good for home fans to see. Um, that aside, you know, you know you've got a, a, a touch player. So when he does get on the ball, you're hoping for something better with the distribution. And he didn't have that today. I, I hope Danny's wrong on the on the, on the, on the, on the, on the yeah, <laughs> me too. It's just a hunch I've got, just sort of reading between the lines, possibly. But I'd love to be wrong, of course. Okay, guys, listen, cracking interview, Dan. Thank you very much. Nice Same to you, Daryl. Nice to meet you. Guys, make sure you leave your comments in the comment section below. Do you do you agree with Dan and Daryl? What do you think about the Christian Eriksen situation? We really want to hear about that. Make sure you subscribe to the channel on YouTube. Follow us on Twitter at Spurred on TV and like us on Facebook. Cheers, guys. Thank Cheers. you.